Welcome everyone, one and all, to my reaction to the live action trailer for Avatar The Last Airbender. And I'm, I'm like ready for this, but I'm also not ready because, ah, <laughs> you know, like if you can't tell, I mean, uh, 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 I'm a huge Avatar The Last Airbender fan. It is one of my favorite franchises to ever exist. And when I heard about this live action adaptation, obviously... I was hesitant because I think we can all agree that so far when it comes to live action adaptations of the Avatar universe, we won't talk about it, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, it hasn't been the best. So I just, I really hope they do it justice. I mean, they've got everything going for them. You know, they had the creators of the series a part of production for a good while. I do know that they left, which I know that that caused a lot of fans to be a little bit weary, but I'm still going to put my hopes high i'm still gonna hope for the best and yeah i just feel like with the groundwork set of the show i feel like the plot is gonna be good i feel like it'll be hard for them to go wrong with the plot i just it's the other attributes of the show like the bending specifically the bending has to look good and i just i pray that they do a good job you know but yes anyway with with all that said i'm done rambling let's let's get into it <laughs> i'm too excited but yeah let's go Ooh. Time. Time is a funny thing. Ooh. Where is this? The past. Airbenders, that must be an air temple. Oh, in the iceberg. The casting looks good so far. It all gets is that a marshu? That was beautiful. Arrow. I have to say, there's only one way to keep it straight. Oh my god, the makeup! Suki! What island is that? I know that island. Always I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Nice. Hello, hello. Ooh, firebending looks good. Ooh. Nice. The music. Oh my god, even Momo looks pretty good. I'm impressed. Yeah, let's go. I will say I didn't watch the trailer last night, but I did see the reveal for the um, release date. Okay, right. Now, before anything, I think what we should do is go back, have a rewatch and try and like break down each scene because I really want to like, I was, I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed watching that. So let's just have a little breakdown. So I assume that that is the comet. Is that what they're trying to say? That that is Sozin's comet? time yeah because oh that's such a good point time because is a, this is when they burn down the air temples then so confirmed then that must be an air temple okay so they're using sozin's comet are those fireballs or are those firebenders like flying like using um jet propulsion but yeah so far the air temple is looking sick it's looking quite small is my only gripe but i'm seeing a bridge on the left so i feel like maybe it's bigger but this is like just one little island of this temple. The past. I have to say, like, quality-wise, that looks beautiful. That, that looks so realistic for an iceberg structure. Like something being buried and coming up. Casting. Beautiful. It all gets mixed up. I am blown away. I need to go back. I'm blown away by a Marshu. Holy fucking shit. Look at how good that looks. It all gets mixed up. <laughs> Zuko looking good. Iro. The throne way. looks insane. I'm sorry, but that makeup is perfection. That looks so good. Keep it straight. Oh, Kyoshi Warriors, I love you. I feel like the Kyoshi Warriors are definitely a like 
they're a thing that would be not necessarily hard to make into a live action but they're a thing that like if you don't do it right can look goofy can look a little bit off but they have done that so fucking beautifully well done I'm trying to remember. I think that's the island where he communicated with Roku when it was like talking about the grandfather's episode. Do you remember? It was like the avatar and the fire lord. Okay. So that was, sorry guys. Sorry, my pause wasn't working. So that is the episode where all the trees are burned down and we're going to have like the panda spirit thing. I wonder how they're going to like make that into a live action. Because again, that might come across as a little bit goofy, but. I guess we'll see. I assumed that that was the Agni Kai between Zuko and his dad. The firebending looks insane. I mean, I think we can all agree, like, you know what? We're just going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the bloody movie. Um, Waterbending looked okay. Airbending looked okay. Firebending looked fine, but it was the whole fact that they had to, like, draw fire from a fire source that kind of defeated the purpose of fire being a easily, like... You could use it in battle very easily because you could just bring it out of nowhere, you know? Like, you didn't need a fire source. So, a little bit of a gripe about that. And then I think we can all agree earthbending was atrocious. Earthbending, like, why did it need six people to move a fucking pebble? We'll never be able to get over that. But, um, yeah, so far, fire's looking good. I don't think we've seen an example of earthbending. Earthbending, I feel like, when it comes to a live action adaptation, is going to be the hardest to make look realistic. Water is definitely hard. Because, I mean, if you're, like, taking water in many states, turning it from ice to water and making it move through the air and how it will ripple, like, that's going to be a hard thing to turn from an animation to a live action. But Earth, Earth, I just feel like it's very easy to make Earth bending look goofy and unrealistic. So, just fingers crossed. Azula! I will say the only thing is Appa and Momo look a little bit I don't know how to describe it they look a little bit off but do not get me wrong I think they look as good as they could be I feel like when you're dealing with turning these creatures into a light of adapt adaptation it's gonna be a struggle they're gonna look unrealistic so I think that they've done a fantastic job and also like the way that they've had Momo like they'll show in a second where he like um go yeah where he's like sitting on Aang that looks so good. So I'll give them that. That that that's a great um what do you even call it? CGI? Can you call it CGI? I assume that's what it is. Oh that shot though. Look at them. Oh I'm so excited. I wonder what Barsing Say is gonna look like. <laughs> February 22nd. Oh, that is, that is so soon. It's so soon. <laughs> I'm fucking pumped. So yeah, there we have the live adaptation trailer for Avatar The Last Airbender. And I am really excited in terms of like, uh, we have to compare it to the movie. I really didn't want to, but like, it's the only live adaptation that we've had. So you kind of have to. And compared to the movie so far, everything looks 10 times better. So I'm pumped. I'm ready for it. Obviously, there is still that risk that they could do it wrong. They could do injustice to the actual series, but I'm going to go into it with an open mind. I'm going to go into it expecting good things, and I just hope and bloody pray that they deliver. They've delivered so far. Trailer was a great first step, but yeah, plot-wise and how they condense the stories into these episodes, I don't think that they'll have a struggle because say they run with the modern-day eight episode 40 to 60 minutes i feel like they've got the time because avatar last Emma, they were about between 20 and 30 minutes an episode weren't they and there was about 20 episodes a season let's have a look at season one quick just to see how many episodes it had yeah season one had 20 episodes so if they're condensing them down and also getting rid of any filler that wasn't completely necessary then i think that they will have a good shot at making this good i think that they will have a good shot at not missing things that are necessary, you know? And even though the creators left, I believe they left on creative differences. I believe that that was their reason, but I could be wrong on that. Even though they left, they were there for a decent amount of time to get it running. And with how big the series is, with how big the fandom is, like how much love people have for this show, I think that they will know 
what not to do you know so i'm just hoping and praying and yeah uh the fact that it's only february 22nd that is insane that is insane i did not think that we were gonna be getting it that quick i know they've been we've been waiting a while but it feels very surreal to know that we're gonna have some version of avatar back on our screens come the start of next year i have been waiting many many years for this but yes anyway with that said thank you very much for watching i am going to be reacting to the series don't you fucking worry it's one of my favorite tv shows of all time i'm going to be reacting to it so stick around until february 22nd and i'm going to be getting them up as soon as i can because this show means so much to me it has been such a highlight of my life and i just like i said I just hope they do it justice. But yes, anyway, with that said, thank you very much for watching. I left a link down below to my Patreon. You'll be able to find all of my other content. I don't post as much on YouTube as I should, but there is a lot of content on Patreon. Like, I do four shows concurrently, and I used to do six until only about two months ago. So even though there's not a lot of content on YouTube, there is a lot over there. So be sure to head over there, check the tags, check what I've uploaded, see if anything interests you, and have a look and see if you want to subscribe. No pressure. I'm just saying. But yes, anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.